In this video, we will create a new account with G Suite. The process of setting up account is very simple and it should take us only a few minutes. To register G Suite account with 20% discount, I suggest you use my affiliate link at blogsmarty.com. Using my affiliate link will not cost you any additional money, but will give you 20% discount off your first year with G Suite. You are of course free to open G Suite homepage directly using the gsuite.google.com and register your account that way, although I hope you will prefer a 20% discount. So uh, to start setting up G Suite with 20% discount, please open a new browser window blogsmarty.com forward slash resources. And once the page loads, you will see a page with a short description of G Suite and a green button under the description. So click on Setup G Suite button to continue to G Suite page. You will be taken to a page with two different options to choose from. Basic package with professional office suite and 30 gigabytes of storage and an enhanced office suite with unlimited storage and archiving. At this moment, you will need to make a decision which one of these packages suits you best. And if you scroll down the page a little bit, you will see in a little more details what each package has to offer you. And whichever package you choose, no payment information is required from you to try Google Suite. You have 14 days free of charge. So with the basic package, you will get a professional email for you and your team and you get 30 gigabytes of space, which is pretty much enough for many years. And because you have all the office services like calendar and documents and spreadsheets and video conferencing, you can easily go with this package. The business package offers you everything that the basic package has to offer and much more. For example, you have unlimited space for your G Drive and Gmail, and you can set alerts to know when people share and edit or delete files in Google Drive. And for a larger organization or more advanced users, you get to use the enhanced security features with Google Vault. Another advantage that Business Package offers you is that you can use Google Drive file stream service. And with Google Drive file stream service, you can stream files on demand to your local computer and use them offline. And streaming files on demand allows you to work with selected documents offline without downloading entire Google Drive to your computer. This is a big advantage because you can save a lot of space on your computer hard drive. And when internet connection resumes, all your offline documents are synced with the cloud storage and you get the updated version of your document on all your devices that have Google Drive installed. The basic package offers you a simpler Google Drive version, which also allows you to download cloud files to your computer for offline access. But in the case of basic package, your entire Google Drive is downloaded and backed up to your computer rather than the selected file you choose is streamed, which can consume additional space on your computer. This, however, can be an advantage if your hard drive is large because you get all your cloud files backed up to your computer. But if the local storage is a concern, then Google File Stream from the business package is a great option because you can select one particular file to be streamed and be available for offline access. Business package also allows you to use Google Team Drives. Team Drives are shared spaces where teams can easily store, search, and access their cloud files. And unlike files in your Google Drive, files in Team Drive belong to the team instead of an individual. So even if an individual team member leaves, the files stay and remain in Team Drive exactly where they are so your team can continue using them. And this is another great advantage of business package. So make your decision and select the package that best suits your needs. And remember that you have 14 days trial period. No payment information is required for you to continue and try, and you will not be charged for this time. So if you think you really want to try business package, you can do so for free of charge. Once you know which package you want to select, click on Get Started button for the package you have selected. G Suite will welcome you with the Get Started page 
and it will remind you one more time that this is your 14 days trial period and that no payment information is required to continue and try the suit you have selected. Type in your business name and provide the number of employees in your team including you. This is an approximate number, so don't worry if you think that the size of your team uh, might change in a few days. Next few pages should be very simple. G Suite account setup will just guide us step by step while asking for little pieces of information like on this page, for example. So please provide where your business is located. I'm located in Canada, so I will choose Canada from the list. Next, type in your current email address. The email address you provide here should be your current email address. Existing email address you can check right now. Does your business have a domain name? Here, click on Yes, I have one I can use button. And this is because we have just purchased one from Bluehost. On this page, we need to provide the domain name we have just purchased from Bluehost. I have purchased businesssmarty.com, so I typed in businesssmarty.com. And here, no need to type other characters like HTTP or www, just your domain name. Now confirm here that you will use the domain name you have provided to be used with G Suite. I'm setting up this G Suite account for businesssmarty.com, so I'm leaving everything as is. Just double check the spelling of your domain name and click on next button. Since you're the one creating this account, you will be very first user and an administrator of this account. And if you're not planning to be an admin of this account, don't worry. Later, you will be able to create more users and you will be able to assign an administrator privileges. But at this moment, someone has to be with admin privileges. So provide your first name and last name here and click on next button. Now come up with the username you will use to sign in to your business Google account. Please also note that this username will be part of your business email address. And although you can later create additional email address aliases and use those different email address aliases to share with people, the username you provide here will need to be used every time you sign into your business account. You cannot use aliases to sign into your account. So I've created a username which is my first name and my last name separated with the dot, Sergey.Kargapolov. And uh, no need to type in add and the new business domain name, just your username. Domain name will be added to it automatically. And type in a password you would like to be used with this account. If you want to see what you're typing, then uh, simply click on the icon button, which is at the end of the password field. This will allow you to see your typing and help you avoid making a typo. Would you like to be receiving occasional emails from G Suite with helpful tips and special offers? If yes, then click on OK button here. I usually select a no thanks for most of online services where I'm forced to create an account. But uh, here in this case, I have clicked on OK because I'm very interested in G Suite and I'm an active user of it. So uh, learning about a new feature or an upgrade is always helpful for me. So click on OK if you are interested and no thanks if you are not interested in occasional helpful tips and offers and announcements and it will continue to the next step. And we are almost done here. One last step is to verify we are not a robot and uh, check that checkbox. So click on the checkbox to mark it and confirm we are not a robot. And as with many other online services, G Suite wants us to review their agreement first before we finalize our account creation and we'll actually start using G Suite. So uh, click on G Suite agreement link to review it and if everything is okay, then uh, you can click on agree uh, and create an account button to finalize account creation. And here we go. Our G Suite account uh, has now been created and we are ready to start using it. But before we can actually start using our domain name to send emails and collaborate with our team members, there is some additional setup that we still need to do. So uh, click on go to setup button to continue to a G Suite setup page. 
Also, once your G Suite account is successfully created, you will receive a welcome message from G Suite. This message is a confirmation that everything is okay and will contain important information like the username you need to use to log into your account, the uh, domain name set up with G Suite account, the subscription package you have selected, basic or business subscription, and the date when your trial period ends. You might want to keep this email in your inbox for your reference. Also, please note that under the sign in button, there is a direct link to a sign in page to your G Suite uh, admin dashboard for this business account.